welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make three medieval styled heater shields. Enjoy. Since I'm making medieval heater shields, uh, they're going to be symmetrical. So you can cut out one side you just drew and then flip over that pattern so you have a symmetrical shape. Since this is the first one I'm making and um, it's 22 inches wide and 26 inches tall. So now this is the time when you're going to want to get an old strap I have here and several pieces of duct tape folded onto each other. You can also just use all duct tape, but these are going to be the uh, strap and handle. Flip over your initial piece of cardboard, mark out where your hand is and where a piece of your forearm is going to be. Then cut some slits big enough for those straps we made big enough to go through. After you stick those through, hot glue them into place. Next, cut out an identical piece just like this shield. I'm going to pour some Gorilla Glue all over it. Now that the edges are lined with hot glue to seal, I'm going to place the piece on top. So the other piece is glued on top and I made sure to go around the edges with hot glue to make sure that Gorilla Glue doesn't leak out or anything. But this heater shield is pretty much complete, so let's paint it. So I primed it with gray, then we're gonna do a white and red checkered pattern. So this is the design I chose, and this shield's going to belong to a Croatian knight. Instead of having the checkered uh, coat of arms shield on the flag, I just did the flag and the red included the checkered pattern. Here's just a closer look at all the details. I might need to do another layer of blue. So here's the second shield design, pretty much the same width and length, but with a different design. I thinned out the end here, made it a little bit more pointier, and I also cut some slits so that it's angled downwards at the sides. So now you know the process, trace it onto another piece of cardboard, cut out the replica, bend both pieces a little bit, cut some slits and add your duct tape grips, just like so. Next, add your hot and Gorilla Glue, and then apply the second sheet of cardboard. Then make sure to seal all the edges with a little bit of hot glue so the Gorilla Glue doesn't seep out or anything. And then when that dries, it should be pretty stiff. Now we're gonna put the design on it. So what I'm doing is I outlined about an inch worth of hot glue around, make a rim. Now I'm just going to go around the shield um, every three inches or so and make hot glue dots to mimic rivets. Just like so. Now that all the hot glue rivets are in place, I'm going to go spray paint the rivet silver and then paint the inside a different color. So I primed it with gray and then went around the outside with silver. Now we're going to paint some I think black and yellow would be a cool design. And here it is. This shield is now complete. So for the third shield, this is my design. It's a little bit um, thinner in width, but it's pretty much the same length. Now that it's cut out, I added the straps. I also added one in the middle in case you wanted to hold it like this, but the primary way to hold it is kind of like Captain America's Wakandan shield. So now we're gonna add the second layer. The second layer is now glued and sealed completely. Now this is going to be the Hungarian flag uh, painted on the shield. This is gonna be white and I cut out a paper template. I actually folded a piece of paper in half and then cut out those shapes and then now it's symmetrical. And then that's gonna be green, white, and red. So here we are finished with all three shields. We got the Croatian shield. The Austrian shield. And of course the Hungarian shield. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.